Hello everyone, my name is Arya Umbrekar from Universal High School, 7th Standard. Life is possible on Earth only because of the presence of water. Still, we use more than 80 to 100 gallons of water per day, out of which more than 45 liters is wasted. By taking small simple steps, we can make a large conservation and a huge difference to the planet. Aims and Objectives to connect flood and droughts. Let us understand some of the geographical features of India. Rajasthan and Gujarat have famine conditions, that is droughts, and many areas such as Bihar and Orissa have excessive water, that is floods. How to balance it? We must transport the extra water from the flood areas to the drought areas. How to do it? We can do it by connecting canals from flood prone areas to drought prone areas. Hypothesis Flood and droughts are oppositely but equally suffering conditions because flood occurs because of excessive water and drought occurs because of famine conditions. In canals, we can conserve about 1000 liters of water and save about many lives of both the sites. Minimize wastage of water. We have only 0.5% of fresh water on earth. The rest of the fresh water is in rocks or extremely polluted, not suitable for extraction. Still we use about 10 billion tons of water every day, out of which 125 million tons is wasted. So where is so much water excessively used? Show work. Washing machines and overwatering the lawns are some of the important reasons of water wastage. Hypothesis Out of the 45 liters of water, we can conserve 30 liters of water by just closing taps on time. Need statement Let us understand why to conserve water. You may think that earth contains 70% of water, so why do we need to conserve it? However, as we saw, Earth contains only 0.5% of the accessible fresh water. The rest of it is marine water or salt water which contains high amounts of salts and cannot be used. We, can, we cannot live about water even for a couple of days. We need water for so many purposes such as water to drink, water to bath and water to wash. What will happen if this fresh water perishes one day? Survey. I have conducted a survey using the survey monkey site and I got and I got responses. Let us see the questions. Approximately how many liters of water is wasted at your home? 30 to 40 was the answer supported by 63.84%. Where is maximum water wasted as per you? Washing machine was the answer supported by 54.55%. How often do you take shower instead of a bucket of water? Once a week was the answer supported by 63.64%. What are your aims to conserve water? To not waste the invaluable source was the answer supported by 54.55%. What are your ideas to make people aware about water conservation? Was the answer, uh, posters was the answer supported by 54.55%. How do you wash vegetables? Under bowl or tap? In bowl was the answer supported by 72.73%. To avoid water wastage and various aspects such as washing machine, gardening, shower and washing purposes is the aim of our experiment. Uh, procedure. The rainwater passes from this funnel and flows through the pipe in this tank. From the outlet 1, it leads to the gardening. From the outlet 2, it leads to the storage tank for further use. From outlet 3, it leads, from outlet three, it leads to the sink for washing purposes. From outlet 4, it leads to the washing machine. And from outlet 5, it leads to the shower. Overall observation. The water flows from the funnel and moves in the direction of these arrows to the pipe. The various outlets of the tank lead to the washing machine, storage tank, sink, gardening and shower. 
This is the data analysis of where how much water is used. 60 liters of water is used in washing machine. 15 liters of water is used in sink. 1.5 gallons of water is wasted in shower per minute. And 1 liter of water is used in the gardening purposes. As per the data analysis, the maximum water is wasted in shower and washing machine. So, we can conserve water in various aspects and we can conserve this invaluable and precious source in all these aspects. Overall conclusion, life is not possible on earth without water as per we saw. We have only 0.5% of fresh water on earth. It is an ongoing source and would not last forever. Past a few decades, we are excessively using the water supplies. There can be many important reasons, out of which the important reasons can be increase in population and advanced demands. This is a graph of water wastage from 1950 to 2000. If this fresh water vanishes one day, how will we survive? Not only humans, but every single organism is depending on water. Therefore, we should conserve this precious and invaluable source and also make others aware about water conservation. While doing it, we can make a team with supportive ideas and works. That is why save water and it will save you. Future plan. If I get selected for national level, I will conduct a drive to make people aware and understand the need of waste or water conservation. Social relevance. As we saw, we have only 0.3 to 0.5 percent of fresh water and there is so much wastage. We need water to survive. Therefore, we must conserve water. Save water and it will save you. Thank you. Arya Umrikar.